Today marks the beginning of the final weekend of summer. On Monday, I start college. Today is Friday, August 23rd. We got three days of summer left. And this summer has been one to remember for me. And a lot has happened. I've made a lot of videos and I've been, I had a lot of fun doing all this stuff. I kind of want to give you guys in this video a quick recap of everything we have done because it's been crazy. And I want to give you guys like a little bit of insight into what I believe is going to be happening in the near future. Starting off this summer, graduated high school. That was great. Really fun way to start off summer, finishing that stuff, long four years. Actually, no, it wasn't a long four years. Everyone said high school goes by like that. I was like, yeah, right. I'll probably feel like it takes forever. It really went by like that. I was blown away with how fast it went by and how quickly everything happened. And it, like, it felt like it was just a breeze. And next thing you know, here I am, done with high school, on to the next chapter of my life. But then at the beginning of summer, we pulled the transmission out of Betsy a couple times. Me and my friends did that. We ended up figuring out a whole bunch of stuff. Couldn't figure out why the car was not driving yet. My goal was at the beginning of summer to get Betsy running and driving. We got it running, but not driving. So we did a whole bunch of things to the car. We pulled the transmission out, changed the torque converter. We finally got some exhaust pipes on the car. We put, we messed with the timing multiple times and still none of this stuff seemed to work. And from all that stuff, I'd say expanded up until like the end of July. And it might seem like that's not a whole lot of stuff to do for all of June and just about all of July. Well, I got pretty pissed off at the car and I wasn't really working on it a whole lot. I was taking a whole bunch of breaks, just going around, enjoying my time. And I was making a bunch more videos. I started going to the car shows, showing you guys the cars I see there, new videos for the channel on every Monday. I was having a lot of fun doing that and still working on the car as I went. And then towards the end of July, cause I mean, not much happened between the beginning of June and end of July, kind of just like I was just telling you guys, got it kind of upset with the car, took some breaks. That's why I needed to just like step away from the car and take some breaks. And then finally, after doing all this stuff, spent all this time and money, we finally figured out what was the reason behind Betsy not running and driving. Turns out it was just the four idle mixture screws on the carburetor. They're all out of whack. I tuned them all to the same setting. Car drove perfectly fine. Finally, after three long years, it was right around beginning of August, we finally got Betsy running and driving. It was a huge moment for me, huge moment for my channel, huge moment for you guys as well that have been following me for so long. And it's just crazy how long we spent working on this car and how much time, effort, and money I've dumped into this thing. And finally this summer it all came together and we finally got Betsy running and driving. All thanks to the help of you guys. And then once we got the car running and driving, we took Betsy to her first show. You guys know how that happened. Me and my friends actually that day, I wasn't planning on taking this car to the show at all. We had bald tires in the front. We had no exhaust system. My friend's like, you know, let's take your car. I'm like, okay, let's try it. We drove over to AutoZone, got two cherry bombs, put those on the car, got some clamps to clamp it down to the tail or the exhaust pipes coming off the manifolds. We aired up the tires in the front as much as we could and we're on our way. Turns out the car ended up dying there, blew a fuse, headlights didn't work, ended up getting pulled over on the way home, but we live to tell about it. That crazy story, I mean like what are the chances? First time I took my car out to a show, just first time I drove the car outside of around the block in general. No, all I did was go up the street and down. That was the first time I literally went out and drove the car, <laughs> pulled over on the way home. But well, that's a fun story to be talking about. But then did some fine tuning that next week on the car, did some stuff to it, drank soda for the first time in four years, drove the car to McDonald's, had a whole lot of fun making that video. Drove the, that was the first time I went through a drive through and first time I drank soda in four years with this car. That was a really fun video to make. And that was when I started to like upload videos a lot more frequently. And then that next weekend, we drove Betsy an hour away to the 60 mile round trip out to another car show. Saw that 68 super stock dark clone. Had a great time there. Betsy, that was the main voyage of the summer. That's what I said. I was like, I don't care if I don't drive the car at all outside of that. Go to any other shows outside of that. That is the one show I want to go to, and I hope I make it there. We ended up making it there and back, and it was a whole lot of fun doing that. Then after that, I started to upload videos every single day. That We recorded that video on, I believe, that 
it was a Friday night, then the following Monday is when the video started coming out every single day. I believe this video you guys are seeing, I believe it'll be the 22nd video in a row of uploading a video every single day. All these videos are going live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, just to let you guys know about that real quick. But I've been having a lot of fun making all the videos daily, and it's just a lot of people have been saying that they enjoy me making this more content because before, the videos were just this, me sitting in the car doing street race talk, then me in my driveway working on my car. And now we finally got the car running and driving. I mean, yes, I'm not necessarily driving around with the car a whole lot. We did the McDonald's video and a couple other small videos like that. I had a lot of fun making all those. Learn to drive stick in the Mini Cooper. Like I said, drank soda for the first time in four years. Finally got to drive the car around town. And it's been a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying the videos. Leave your comments down below, by the way, if you enjoy me making all these new videos. I mastered my sweet tea recipe. And just all these videos I'm making, I'm having so much fun doing it. Some people got a little bit upset saying, oh, wait, this isn't really like you and your, this isn't really like street racing in your car. Well, it's my channel. I'm having fun making the videos and I'm enjoying making all these videos. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Leave your comments down below, by the way, your favorite videos I'm making. I'll do a poll on the community tab on my YouTube channel. Favorite videos that I make, street race talk, videos of me working on Betsy, videos of me driving around in Betsy, videos of just me talking about stuff, me going out and doing like a vlog type video, I guess, like when we drove, picked up the Mini, drove that thing to the Jewel, and then like other stuff like that, like when I drove Betsy to go get McDonald's, like videos like that. Do you enjoy those type of videos or just you like everything and you watch everything? Leave your comments down below about that and I'll post something on the community tab for a poll for you guys about that. But just this summer's been crazy. And it's all coming to an end this weekend, and I start college. That's crazy. And the thing is, though, it's like I don't know the future of the channel. Because right now, I'm really enjoying making videos every single day. I'm having so much fun doing it, and it's just been a great time for me. And I feel if I want the channel to continue to grow, and if I want to hit my goal of 100,000 subscribers to one day get to that, I feel like these are the things I'm going to have to do. Like start uploading every single day to produce as much content as I possibly can. Go out and try different things and try new things to start recording different things to try and give you guys good entertaining content, new stuff that no one's ever seen before. And college starts on Monday. It's a big time, big day for me and my life. And I was thinking about it's like I'm spending a bunch of money on college. It's expensive and it's like, I'm spending all this money on that, but like I enjoy doing all this so much. It's like, unfortunately, college is going to have to come first before the YouTube videos. I promise every single Friday there will still be a video street race talk. No doubt about that. That will always be going up. When it comes to other videos, I don't know. I'll have to let you guys know. Obviously, I haven't started school yet. I have no idea like the workload and that kind of stuff. I've never done, obviously never been in college before. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have to spend studying because in high school, I got pretty good grades with not studying a whole lot or not, I shouldn't say that, without spending a whole lot of time, I was able to study a little bit, did good in school, and I was able to still come out here and make these videos. But the thing is, that was a fraction of the price is what college is. And with the amount of money I'm spending on that, I have to focus on that. But then I was thinking about that. I was like, you guys have helped me so much. It's crazy. Like some of you don't realize this, but back when I had like 6,000 subscribers, I said, I'm not getting ads on my videos till I hit 10,000 subscribers. It was just something I wanted to do. No rhyme or reason behind it. I was just thinking, I don't feel like I deserve to be making money from this until I hit like a significant number of subscribers to, in my mind. So 10,000 was that number. Then you guys encouraged me like, no, no, no. Spend them or put ads on your videos so you can start making money and get your car out on the road even faster. And I was like, you know what? You guys convinced me. A lot of people are asking to donate money as well. So we fired up a GoFundMe, raised $500 for that to get the engine and transmission that are in Betsy right now. And it's just crazy to me to think that you guys convinced me to start putting ads on my video. I made some money to help me pay for the car. And now that money I made that I've like been saving and just putting away, it's helped me pay for college. It's just like, I'm at a kind of a loss for words thinking of something like that. Like, how much you guys have helped me and saying that like I'm helping pay for college with YouTube money. I mean, I don't make like a crazy amount each month. It's crazy thinking that 
I'm making these YouTube videos and it's helping me pay for college. It's just, I think that's so cool. And that's one of the reasons why I feel inspired to continue to make videos and to push out as many videos as I possibly can. And to continue to provide you guys with good entertaining content, trying new things, trying to go out and do all kinds of different stuff. And I feel like that at first I was thinking maybe I'm not gonna be able to make videos as much. And I was thinking about, it's like, making videos has helped me pay for college. So why not make as many videos as I possibly can? And the thing is too, with me working out of the car, I'm having to commute to college every day because it's just so much cheaper not having to live on campus. So I was thinking about maybe like once a week, I make a video of me just during my commute, just record me driving the car. Maybe not Betsy, I have the focus is my daily. Maybe driving down to that, just talking to you guys along the way, all kinds of stuff and that. Then maybe once a week, I drive Betsy down on a nice day like today. It is beautiful outside on a nice day like today once i get the new transmission in the car we drive betsy down once a week and make a video out of that just ideas i have i want to know what you guys ha have to say what do you want to see me do in the future and just i thank you all so much for helping me do all this stuff it's it's truly awesome and truly amazing there's a couple of you guys i can just message whenever like i'll be out here working my car all my dumb stupid questions you got like george donnie mr nobody all you guys like I can just message you and ask you anything, whether it be about servicing my car, and it's just those those guys and just meeting people like that. Through doing this is just, it means so much, and I appreciate all of you so much, and I thank you all so much for that. And it's crazy. I don't know, like, I don't really know what to say where I'm going with this video, to be honest. I just wanted to recap somewhere here I am talking about life and college and all that kind of stuff. But hopefully things will be awesome, fun, and exciting for the next couple years of my life being in college. And I hope you guys are excited and are going to be sticking around for the ride. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what videos you want to see me make. Like I said, on the community tab, I'll be posting a poll asking you guys what videos you like seeing the most and just getting feedback from there and feedback from your comments on this video, what I'm going to be doing in the future with my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching and listening to We're at 13 minutes right now. I appreciate you all so much that have watched at the very end of this video. And all of you that leave comments in every single video, watch every single video, have been watching for years, sticking with me through the thick and thin of me wanting to sell the car, working on the car, getting mad, not wanting to work on the car anymore. Here we are, starting the next chapter of my life with Betsy finally running and driving. It means so much to me. I thank you all so much for that. Hopefully, you guys will stick around for this next journey, the next years of my life, opening, opening this new book, entering the next chapter of my life, which is college. And hopefully, one day, we will hit my dream of getting 100,000 subscribers. The only way I'm going to achieve that is from me busting my ass making these videos and having you guys help me along the way. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm going to be... New videos will be going up on, you're going to be seeing this on Saturday. There'll be a new video on Sunday, Monday, maybe Tuesday. No promises for that, unfortunately. But all the videos that I do upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you guys click that little bell. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Make sure you guys leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you have to say about my channel. What do you guys want to see me do? How long have you been watching my videos? Like, just thoughts and opinions on everything I've done this summer and what you want to see me do in the near future. Leave your comments down below. I read absolutely all the comments from there, just about all of them. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABCXYZ signing out. Hopefully, one day, we will reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers.